fish are awesome. We're going to do an official intro now. This is Karen Kaur versus Allison Fisher. And this is Daniel Bush on POV Pool at the North American Pool Tour. It, uh, the Desert Challenge event at uh, Griff's in Las Vegas. And I have the uh, uh, unexpected pleasure of sitting here with Lori John Hassan. And she is uh, only going to be with us for a few minutes. She has a... Uh, uh, a second chance tournament that she's <laughs> playing in. Have you had fun at this event? Yes. You, you, you know enjoyed what? yourself. I, I you and always, David. David's here. Yeah. Yeah. So I always have fun at tournaments. Um, I came back fully out of retirement. This this is my first year, um, and you know I I need I do I, I I'm feeling it. I need more competition. I just need to that, get out. That's great to, to hear. More. Yeah, I need more competition. I have to get back into, um, you know, feeling the nerves and and just you know just the different atmospheres yeah. and yeah. different yeah. forms, different yeah. venues. Huh. You know, I kind of I see an ad campaign here, kind of like yeah. an Uncle Sam thing. Absolutely. Lori needs you <laughs> yeah. to join the NAPT. She needs more competition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just, you know, it's a great, it's a great tournament. You know, they've done, the NAPT, let me tell you, has done, has come a long way in a very, very short, short period, period of time. Short period of time. How many of their events have you played? Um, this is only my second, I guess. Um, I couldn't play uh, the Chicago tournament. Um, I really wanted to go to it, but yeah. I already, way before the Chicago event was even, you know, around i i was on vacation i had a vacation planned with my husband so yeah um i couldn't go to that so i only went to the last one in uh and um eagle eagle billiards in in scranton pennsylvania Mm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and great break by by karen here but uh, she's 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 tied up on the one already she Mm -hmm. she she'll probably push somewhere and this is a match that many have been waiting for from the winner's side this is, uh, these are the two of four players that are on the winner's side. The other two players are uh, Eleanor Collado. Who played uh, fabulous this event. Let me tell you, she's got a great stroke. And she's playing Vivian. Yes, she's playing uh, the Texas Vivian. Tornado Vivian Villarreal right now. So, uh, obviously the two winners of those of these two matches will uh, advance for a chance to play for the hot seat. I love it. They're taking lines already. They're taking lines. Like, like, we have Fisher, a ch- like Fisher, seven to four. <laughs> yeah. We have a chat room here. <laughs> Everybody's... Uh, what a great... Now, that shot right there that Allison did, and she is really, really strong at it. And, uh-huh. and, and everyone, you know, needs to take... Take an eye and, and watch it what she does. Yeah, when pen she plays and paper, safety, take notes. When she plays a safety, it's not just good enough to hook. She's frozen against that three ball. Yeah. And she just has that, that beautiful touch to always do that, mm-hmm. um, you know, to get re- – like you're not just hooked. You're you're in jail. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't just simply, uh, you know, uh, leave a distance shot for Karen. I mean, mm-hmm. she's playing Karen Core too, so – but <laughs> she would probably do it to any player. That's the that's that's the thing. The scary thing about Allison Fisher well, <laughs> is that uh, we all, I don't think she takes any preference over who she's playing. I don't think I don't think any of the top players though do. Like, you're right. I, you're right. I, because I don't. I'm yeah. going to lock you up, and I'm yeah. going to be seven to zero if no, I can. No know? mercy. So, that's, yeah. so look at this. You're probably going to beat me seven zero. That's for sure. I would hope. I don't know. I watched you play last night, and you're not, not too bad. Oh, <laughs> yo, that was an embarrassing, embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, I'm so One cold. One ten combination. Yes. Look at this. This, yes. Is, this is this is to to start. Allison's playing very good though right now. I, I'm, I'm I like. You think? I, I've, yeah. Yeah. I've watched her. You know. Not. You know what? Sometimes I've seen Allison play for so many years that sometimes I mean she's always her bad day is okay. You know what I'm saying? Her yes, bad, her bad yes. day is good. But I I've, I've seen her play um so much that there are better days than others. There are better tournaments than others. Uh-huh. And her stroke, everything is just point on right now. If you just watch everything about her right now, it's just point on. Point just just perfect. 
so she's going to be a tough one. She's going to be, you know, you're going to have to, you're going to have to really play <laughs> hard against her to to, uh, to to beat her. And again, Karen. I mean, Karen's and a, any other person. Karen's yeah. a she's a warrior. <laughs> she's complete warrior. She, yes, she's, yes. She's uh, both players player. are BCA Hall of Famers, mm -hmm. uh, and both players are very accomplished snooker uh, mm -hmm. players. They they. You know, they came from the snooker background. Yes, yes. Uh, Karen from Northern Ireland, and and uh, Allison from from England, and uh, you know, Karen playing snooker since she was the uh, fourteen years old, which. Uh, Thank you, by the way, Wired Space. Yeah, he was tough. <sighs> Oh, the mouth, Mike Siegel, huh? <laughs> <laughs> They're not letting it go. Yeah. You know, Karen has had much success. You know, there's differences. It's interesting. Um, she has had much success against the men. Now, yeah, re I was reminding you that, you know, she beat the number one player in the world. Um and I and I apologize. At the turning I stone. I don't know. Yeah, something Papo. Uh, uh, po, Copigny. Copigny. Mm -hmm. That's it. Copigny. Um, I think she beat him handily oh, as well, like uh, something yeah. silly, like eleven three or something. Very handily. And so you know, when you have that kind of um, mental power and ability to play a man like that, or the men players, it's different. You know, it's different. It Allison becomes news. Has, Allison doesn't play too much with the men. Um, she, you know, she, she's been dominating the women's tour for a very long time. So, this is an interesting safety and tough little kick there. Nice little touch. Very nice that touch. Was very nice. So, here comes Karen. And that had to be hit just perfectly. You know, I don't, it, pe people, people see things, you know, this is the one thing that I can tell people out there, you know, people see things and say, oh, well, of course you would do that. Mm -hmm. Try and do that with the speed, you know, try. With the right speed, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's what, the, yeah. that's the Lucky difference. for Karen, she's right-handed, so. Yeah. She, she'll probably just roll into this, uh. You know, and just, try to freeze the one to the rail. No. She tried to do the double kiss thing, and that was a good, that was actually a good shot. Especially yes, I love. she couldn't do. I it. love that shot, actually. Yep. Very difficult shot to, to uh, uh, you folks at home, you should try practice that shot sometimes. It's, it's a lot harder than it looks. I learned that um, shot actually playing one pocket. Did you? Yeah. I learned I learned that you know that specific shot in in different different spots that I was in and mm -hmm. it's come up uh, comes up quite a lot in one yeah. pocket yeah I'm thrilled that you like one pocket oh, you're, well, I just yeah. I, I hated it my whole life and and when I started playing <laughs> again I, I went to my ex uh, Sammy Jones and I said, I go, okay, coach. I said, I want to better my game. I don't want to just come back. I want to better my game, yeah. and, and I, I need to learn one pocket. Uh, yeah, you can get an arsenal uh, <laughs> yeah. of skill playing that game. So, I don't know what she called. Okay, she did call something because she yeah. talk, said to Karen, that's the only thing that we don't know here is we, we're not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what it's call ball, so I don't know yes, if it is a called safety ball. or mm -hmm. a shot or... This is a good opportunity for Karen now to run out. Follow up on the two ball. Yes, and the two, three, four localized up table. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't, I don't see much difficulty in the sense of 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 having. The only thing would be maybe the three to the four. Uh, other than that, if she gets on the right angle on the four ball, she should be okay. Yes, yeah. And you got the five and the six down table. Mm -hmm. You're going up and down table a little bit here, but not yeah. nothing too, uh, you know, not too worrisome here. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't see anything. 
and remind you, as I always say when I commentate or any time, I have never made a mistake from from the position. chair. <laughs> <laughs> never, never missed a ball and never got out of line either. <laughs> Karen, pretty straight on this four ball. Should probably just stun this and play the five for the bottom left corner. And let me tell you, that was a hard shot. When you get over a Slightly ball. Slightly elevated over you, the eight, you, yeah. Man, when you have to shoot over a ball, it changes the whole entire shot from, uh -huh. from a little, you know, from possibly an easier shot to a, a little bit difficult. Yeah, a case in point, the four actually wiped its feet on the way yeah. in the pocket and there. And she's not, I think she's not, you know, now she's, see, see the angle on the five ball to uh -huh. the six? So uh -huh. she's going to make a little decision here. Kind of, she, she might have to like kill mm -hmm. or stun over mm -hmm. and back. She stuns over she and back. back which, okay. Not where she wants. She can, you can tell by her face. You know, she was a great shot. She actually hit it just about as good as you can hit it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so well, she just needs to cut this in, just concentrate, come one, two, and back out again. Because I don't, th I, I, for me, I don't think I would necessarily hold this. Um, because when I, when I go to hold a shot, a lot of times I'll, I'll miss. Yeah, uh, the position was yeah. at you know that was the question of position with this shot. She she played just to make the ball basically. You Correct. Know. And she you know so um, and <laughs> can I just be honest with everybody? I did not see the seventh. The se so I have right in front of me. I'm looking at the table and something is blocking the seven. So I didn't see the seven. Oh, you got. So you, I was thinking she was playing position for the eight ball, and that's why I was thinking, you know, back and forth. You got sharked by my tripod, huh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so then when I saw the seven, I'm like, oops. <laughs> well, there's another ball. That's why it pays to look at the TV monitor. Also. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm not, I'm, this is not my pro side here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing a professional job, as far as I'm concerned. I appreciate yeah. it. Oh, and I want to just say hi to who is that? Kia. Kia. Kids Kia Sidbury. Yeah, Sidbury. Yeah. Says I love the double kiss safeties. Mm-hmm. Uh, which Karen Core played earlier in this game. Yeah, it's a very good. I think she left the she left the window. Yeah, she did. Okay. Wow, and, and that, that was is, so well executed. That is just that is one of the strongest shots that this girl has in her repertoire. In the, yeah. Is just yeah. that long rail mm -hmm. straight. Nothing. Do, don't do anything fancy. Just to make the ball. Yeah. That is. There's so little to do with stroke in that shot, and so much to do with just the weight of the cue. Yeah. Would that be yes. would that be accurate? To just put your tip just push the tip right through rather than to try to do anything. Because with it, yeah. The more you try and do with it, the more you you know, the more you, you, you might jaw the ball or do something funny. Mm -hmm. But if you just lay that tip on and you just push through with the cue and yeah. mm -hmm. Especially on this fast Simonis cloth. Uh where 99% of the time your ball's going to roll nice and straight. And Allison plays another fabulous shot on the nine ball. And, uh, yeah, and she'll, she's going to go up two to, two to nothing now. And that's... We want to send prayers for uh, yeah the people in Texas for our victims My in Texas goodness. apparently uh, another shooter with an active shooting in uh, Texas I I know very little about it I'm I'm, I'm just came across our the iPhone yeah and that's uh, just twenty killed I get very perplexed thirty injured yeah so I have to hear this on the air right now so uh, yeah anyone who's in Texas man. I'm just, oh, wow. I'm just, you know, I, I just, I don't, I just don't understand it. I Me don't either. understand it. It's sometimes, I think we all just need to stop and uh, try to understand what's going on, try to understand each other a little more. And uh, 
I don't know. <clears throat> I think we need to we need to start helping each other a little more mm -hmm. in this in this this world we live in. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, because we're letting we're letting people go out of control. I mean, mm -hmm. I think we're all equally responsible. You know, obviously there are some people out there have major problems, mm -hmm. but. Uh, so and we are blessed to be here at the wonderful NAPT tournament at Griff's Purim in um, Las Vegas, and thank you to Mark Griffin to uh, who you know provided this. It really is an awesome Purim. I love the room. It's <laughs> I just good. Love it. I mean, this used to be Pool Sharks. Yeah. I'm sure you've booked some time here at Pool Sharks, right? You know what? I don't think I. You know what? No. no. Remember? Do you know where I we're have... sitting? We're sitting in the pit, the oh. the famous pit of Pool. Sh okay. Where millions of dollars have changed have hands right here. I have been out for for real. I've been out for nine, ten years. That's a long so, time. So that's what I'm saying. So yeah. I, you know, there's things that I should know. So uh, Karen, uh, Karen made a ball. It's a actually this layout is not as as tricky as it looks. Well, the, <coughs> the wind though does not go past the seven ball yeah. sorry score correction yes it's two zero yeah. and the and the the um one did not go past the the seven there so that was yeah yeah with the exception of that ball you're right uh, but the first person i think to get a shot on the two is is uh probably liable to run out because mm -hmm. it doesn't look very difficult well i don't know i think she can i don't she can play a billiards can maybe play, oh, can oh no i'm sorry one ball no, no no she's on the one i thought the one was yeah. by the seven I'm, i i know just trust I'm me i'm getting cycloped it's all right <laughs> 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 do you know how many times i like looked up and went oh that's the seven <laughs> yes yes <laughs> probably <laughs> Probably not as many times as I have. <laughs> so now I cannot see if she can see this one ball. If she can, she's just going to do that pretty stroke. No, nope, she's going to. Okay, she couldn't. So she did the right thing. She did the right thing. Well, you just have unexpected results. Yeah. yeah. You just, you know, you, there's not. You can't always do something. You know, people think because you're a pro or because you're the best or, you know, they, 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 I think sometimes, you know, they're like, oh, she's out. <laughs> and I'm thinking, no, she doesn't even have a shot, <laughs> you know, so you, you, you've got to play defensive and, and that's a great, that was a great shot and a good roll. Yeah, she good, got, good, a, she nice, got a nice little kiss, nice little roll. Yeah. Well deserved though, because she made a great shot. Mm -hmm. That that shot is not as easy as it looks. Tighter pockets. She had to hit it in with authority. Inside English. Yes. You know, you got to do all. Yeah. Gotta now, take all that into consideration. The uh, the layouts changed on this table though. Now yes. the uh, eight is blocking the three. The three ball. But so she, she did the kiss yeah. and the yeah. That was a great the, shot. That was really good shot. Great manipulation of the uh, of the kiss there. Now, does the four, it looks like the four goes past the eight, I think. It's hard to see. I, I think it does. Tell, yeah. I was going to say, it, I can always tell by it, their face. It does, Lori John. <laughs> it does. I just look, when I'm, when I'm scratching my head over here, I just look at their face and I look at their body thing and I'm like, yep, yeah, they can, they can. Yeah, see you try good. to get a read. They're good. <laughs> so she's. She's going to draw out a little bit, probably about four to six inches. Okay. Very nice. Yep. And uh, oh, is she going to play the short side of the six here? She is or either going to come over. She's looking at the combination. So that's what is. I was, I was going to say. I can't see the angle 100% from here, so she's either looking at the combination or she's going to come straight across to possibly shoot the six in the other corner. Right. So... Um, and we'll we'll see what she chooses. I I think she's gonna go over. I I, I unless the yeah. She played short side. Uh, unless the combination is easy, or unless she just didn't get there. She didn't get there. Yeah, I think she played there. short. Mm -hmm. She was playing short side. Mm 
yeah, she's her her little mouth is giving me the hint that she's not happy <laughs> with. <laughs> you got the read. <laughs> She's so composed. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, that's tough shot. that smarts a little a bit. Shot. She's gonna, she's not happy, but I'm still see now now watch watch her stroke on this. This is one of the the things that she's the strongest at. This is that this is another you know, besides the long rail, you know, when the cue ball's on the rail and she says long straight. Yes. This is also, don't prove me wrong, Allison. <laughs> don't turn you into don't a liar, turn huh? Don't turn you into a liar here. <laughs> Just stroke through like you do. Yeah. Um, but this is, she's very strong at this shot no matter what happens. Not to put you under the gun, but generally speaking, who, who do you like in this match? And maybe who do you want to win this match i have oh and see she proved me wrong now so well she did hit that very Gosh. well though so she did <laughs> i think she still managed to exemplify what she, what you were saying yeah but it just didn't fall it just didn't it just go. didn't fall sorry it's the damn table i actually adore both of these players and I know a different side of both of these players and they both crack me up uh -huh. I, we I have um, constant jokes with both of them okay and so it, for, for me right now you know whoever plays well and goes ahead is I think is, is gonna is gonna just take away the match yeah um, I, I don't have, you know, I, 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 I'm not necessarily better friends with one of them than yes. the other. I, I, I do. I adore both of them. I have, I, I, I have ongoing jokes even throughout this whole event. They, have, they, they also have a long lasting relationship oh, yeah. as, with each other they as well. Have, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's been back and forth with them. Yes. She wins one, she wins one, she wins one, back and forth, back and forth. So, it's, it's, you know, it's. Tim Kovacs also is just saying hello to you from the chat room. Uh, Lori John. He's so nice. He's such a nice person. Okay. okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, I will call you. Thanks. And that was Cassie Francois. She's going to join me after you get called to your first match in the second chance tournament, mm -hmm. Lori John. Okay. Cassie Francois is going to join me in commentary. Oh, perfect. And Karen and gets on the board. Well, very good. See, and that's, you know, and so rarely are you going to have two of the greatest players, uh -huh. right? Rarely. Just... Seven one, mm -hmm. so <laughs> seven two. It's just not going to happen. You 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 know what it. You've played both of these mm -hmm. these ladies, yep. and so you know what it takes. I'm I'm going to assume too over the years that since you have played them, probably frequently you've beat them too. So yeah, can I, you tell me what it takes to beat them? No mistakes. <laughs> 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 you know, perfect you thought, pool. Yeah, perfect pool. Perfect pool. You know, you really. So you're you know, probably proud so, to say that you've played some perfect pool in your time. You know, I mean, I, well, I remind you, I'm also in the Hall of Fame. So yes, I also, yes. I also have a good, good history. What year was that, me. by the way? 2002. Okay. And then 2008 for the WPBA, yes. the Women's Professional yes. Blade Association. So, um, you know. Uh, when I when I came back this year, uh -huh. I actually played my first tournament back. I had to play uh, Vivian Villarreal and, and Karen Core. Okay. And you know, it, it, I, I'm like, oh man, this is you know, like I was just, my nerves were just a wreck. You're just jangling. But yeah. man, I was just focused and and absolutely got some roles because you'd never win a tournament without getting roles. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Never. I don't care who you are. You always get a good a good role. <laughs> yeah. And um. And and I wound up beating you know Karen and I, and man that was just like, whew. Yeah. I was like I can I can still play, 
you know, because <laughs> because beating's one of one of those two. You know, you're you're. I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but you know, I mean, your 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 confidence level gets gets high. So yes. Yeah. So that's. Oh, is your match up? I am up. Oh, your match is Oh, s such a good conversation. Okay. Goodbye, Kia. Lori John I, Hassan. I will miss you. I miss you at this tournament, too. <laughs> We're never going to learn the secret of how to beat Karen Kaur. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to be joined by Cassie Francois. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Yeah. Thank you, Terry. Yes, so you can have it that way, or or this way. Which one? I I think this way is better for you. Good. Hold on. Okay. Hi. We're back and. Um, it was truly a pleasure, short but sweet experience with Lori jo John uh, Hassan with us in the commentary booth for this match. And uh, uh, she's gone off to start her second chance tournament uh, uh, match. And so I'm joined by Cassie Francois. She played in this event. Hi, and, everyone. And uh, I'm very glad to have you here. And uh, it was... Uh, it, it was, uh, you know, with the help of uh, Adrienne and Terry, she uh, they asked you to come and join us. Yeah, well, I'm glad to be joining you. I help Adrienne sometimes back at home when we stream. Um, On uh, Rail to Rail. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so sometimes I join her and Annie, and I decided to come back today and watch some of the matches. So oh, well, we're, excited we're glad to take the you opportunity. Did. Thank we're you. Glad you did. Um. So, and you. Uh, you lucked out here because you've got a great match here. I, I yes, I, uh, this is definitely <laughs> no a pressure. great match. No pressure. I know, and so I know there's multiple cameras here. Is this is the one that's live? No. No. These and this. Okay. This is a delay. Okay. Yes. You know, everyone has their setup slightly different, so sure, I just want to make sure, sure we're looking at the right thing. Sure. Absolutely. You're you're, you know, you're I right don't see Allison miss very many banks. Yeah, that was uh, that was unexpected. You know, those are those are kind of natural for a player of her caliber. Qu quite natural. Definitely. For the pro am event, my partner and I played Allison and her partner, and she um, they ended up winning out on a bank that she really nice bank that she made to close it out on us. Oh, the charity event that happened yep. on Friday? Yes. Mm. We actually played them twice. We put them on the B side, and then we played them again in the semifinals. Oh, wow. Wow. So you you actually uh, you had to uh, endure some tough matches in this event, didn't you? You played Lena. I uh, did. Jorsvik yes. early in the event. Yes. She put me on the B side. She played. She played really great. Um, I think she's from Norway. Yes, Norwegian. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, one of my coaches back at home, Dan Louie, knew of her, and so I was chatting with him after the match, and he gave me some insight on her game. Oh, okay. But I don't like to get insight before the game. Yes. Um, but afterwards, we talked a little about it. Mm, okay. So, yes. Okay, well, it makes me feel better to hear, you know, how high of a player she is, and Dan Louie uh, is uh, a great coach to have. Yes, <laughs> definitely. I've been playing with him for about 10 years now. And he is the sweetest person I have ever come across. Yes, yes. I'd like to say hi to him, by the way. Uh, he, we consider him a friend. Okay, I can pass uh, that message on for Ger sure. Yes, please say hi. From Geraldine and I. Just okay. He'll know. 
And uh, and uh, we, we, we saw him in Tucson at a three cushion event okay. with Toshi. Oh, yeah. You know? Toshi's always around. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Looks like Karen left herself good on the 10, not on the rail. Controlled that really, controlled her um, speed off the nine ball to get on that 10 mm -hmm. to tie it up. Yes, we have a, a, a good match here. Karen, obviously capitalizing on uh, Allison's mistake there, uh, missing the bank on the five. So you're supposed to do, right? Yes, you are supposed to do that. So Cassie, we're, you're from Washington. Yes. So you play out of the, what is it, which league is it that, or which? It's the NWPA. It's the NWPA. So yes. what, what is in that that stands for Northwest Pool Association? Yes. <laughs> I had to think about that, so I'm glad you <laughs> um, threw, it out, threw that out there. Yeah. And, and there are a lot of you NWPA uh, players. Uh, there is. I mean, Cindy Doty, Adrian Beach. Kim uh, Jones is here from Kim that Jones. league. Mary Hopkins, who mm -hmm. placed pretty pretty well in this tournament. I think you just streamed her last match against Brittany Bryant. Mary Kaufman. Yes. Yes. Oh, Mary Kaufman. Yes. Um, Kim Jones. Yes. Yeah. So actually, Mary used to live in our area. Mary. Now she's she now she's down here. Mary and Mary and Poole also is from our area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and Patricia Tipton, I think, is the last one. Ah, okay. Um, oh, Liz Cole. Yeah. Liz Cole's from our area, too. So we well, had a pretty good It's quite a strong group to come out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's definitely a strong group. Um, a lot of the same people in the tour that are placing in the top t two, three every single time it made it out here to Vegas. It's such an easy flight from Seattle to Vegas. Well, I'm, I'm thrilled with this field. Uh, and, and, and I'm thrilled with uh, what you guys have put together. The N N NAPT was sort of born in uh, the Washington it area, was. Seattle, Washington. Adrian put a lot of hard work into mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, Toshi says hi. <laughs> Toshi is watching. Hi, Toshi. Toshi and Dan. <laughs> is Dan in the room? Uh, yeah. No, I think Toshi yeah. was just saying hi to me and you. Uh... Well, let's, if Dan's there or not, we want to. Give them a shout Toshi out. Toshi told Dan that I together. texted him to watch. And he should watch this match. <laughs> and tell Dan that I also passed on the message that Allison said hi to him. After I said a few kind words about Dan. So Karen, breaking from the middle. Which is my favorite place to break from when we play 10 ball. That's where I've been breaking from too. Although, if I break a few times without making a ball on the break, I'll switch it over maybe an inch off to the side and see if that table gives me better luck. But I've been seeing some pretty consistent breaks head on, ball on the side. Or sometimes the two and three will travel around and come back into the corner pockets. Uh huh, uh huh. So, I believe this one ball passes the nine to the corner. Which is, uh, yep. I mean, this break is just very, very pretty open. Pretty, yeah, it looked very nice. And with a shot on one, you can't complain about that. She draws back for the two in the side. And this will just be a simple follow shot. No problems here at all, in it fact. Yeah, it doesn't look like this it. just looks like textbook. She should be able to get out here. So I won't jinx her, but. <clears throat> oh, so she was a little off angle on that two ball, but she managed to recover position here. So she'll just f finesse this uh, three into the corner. And four to the side pocket. Now, here's that pesky six ball again. It seems like the six ball seems to be the sort of the trouble ball of of uh, match so far this match so far and uh, actually in a, uh, the match prior six ball being in the middle of the table do you have any insight into why they're using the measles ball with the cyclops set instead of the cyclops key ball no i don't uh, obviously that's a tournament direction a tournament direction decision okay. of which we don't you know we don't uh, carry any of those responsibilities on 
uh, on the media side and the streaming side. So I've been meaning to ask Chris about that. It's the first yeah. time I've seen a non-Cyclops ball with a Cyclops set. And it does make a little bit of a difference. Wow. Uh, she, she hit that good. She stunned that out, uh, you know, pretty wide. And I was getting nervous for her on that shot for, for just a brief minute, brief second. Brief half a second? Brief, yeah, <laughs> for a millisecond. <laughs> you have to forgive me. It's still early for me today. We are in Las Vegas, folks. I'm noticing Karen Kors is, is using uh, some sort of uh, extension between the butt and the shaft of her cue. Looks like Does she around, have one? Yeah, it looks like around four or five inches. Oh, okay. So uh, here she's probably going to put a little bit of right English come around the 10. Yeah, you think? <laughs> yep. Just like that. She's hope making she, it look real easy. Just hope she's looks like she has angle. Okay. <clears throat> Anything but straight. <laughs> Put a little bit of draw on it. Her bridge, her bridge looks to be around <clears throat> fourteen inches long. There. Bounce off the rail. You know. She might have wanted that off the rail just a little bit, but she'll handle it well. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I got nervous for a second. Y you did. <laughs> <laughs> Are you rooting for Karen? Um, You know, I... I don't like to say who I'm reading for. Okay, <laughs> then uh, let's um, move on. I have, I like, <laughs> I really have a lot of respect for both of these players. Okay. Um, I do know Allison a little bit more. Okay. Um, and I've chatted with her a little bit throughout the week. Um, and I just, I can't help but to cheer for her a little bit. But I mean, like I said, they, I respect both of them a ton. And absolutely, at I've, this level, you know, it's who's who's on their game and who's going to get a couple rolls on top of it. I, for one, 99% of the time, I, I don't want anybody to lose either. Yeah. You know, I want to see good pool. I want to see, uh, you know, hot, you know, big moments and great shots. Yep, exactly. And, uh, and I want to learn something new about the game. But uh, also, we are in a competition. Yep. And competition means there are losers, there are winners. I just saw Kevin Ross was in this room. Kevin um, streamed my very first NAPT event. In the chat room? Yeah. Oh, great. Kevin and Sherry streaming company in Chicago last year. Oh. So, hi, Kevin. I get to pretend to be you today. <laughs> yeah, the Kevin and Sherry used to be from our area as well. Mm -hmm. Right. How does the spread look? She has, is the two down? She has to get down to the three here? Oh, the two's there. Never mind. She was yes, over the on two. the side rail. And, uh, so this is a... I don't know. Does that six go past the nine in that corner there? Uh, yeah, it looks like it does. Okay. I don't know if she has a whole pocket. By the way, um, Karen Cord, that was a break and run from Karen in the last rack. I believe. Yeah. I think yes, it so. It was. It was a break and run. And uh, it is three to two. She has taken the lead. So Allison is. Um, she's probably just taking this one shot at a time. She's not. She's gonna want to return the favor. She's yep. Yeah, she needs to to say, hey, I'm in this match too. You know. And she very well is. You know, the 10 ball has been in that, I think, the same spot the last few racks here. That magic rack really keeps that 10 in place. Yeah. Uh, also, currently ongoing is a match between Ellen and Eleanor Collado and the Texas Tornado, Vivian Villarreal. And the score is 3-2, to two, Eleanor, in a race to 7. Wait, Eleanor is up? 
Uh, I believe it is. Okay. Eleanor, who's up? Eleanor had a really good match against uh, Lena. Was she? I don't know if they were on the stream last yes, night. Yes, uh, Eleanor uh, managed to scrape by Lena uh, uh, Hill Hill. It's a really great match. And uh, Lena also. So she, so Lena playing from the one loss side. She she had a chance to play another Colado today this morning. Oh, Emmeline, yeah. Yeah, and she uh, she managed to defeat Emmeline Colado, but there's still one of the Colados uh, has made their mark. I think she was trying to get a five in the side there, and she maybe overran that just a tad. Yeah, you might be right. The side pocket might have been the uh, the ticket there, but she got in between both shots, didn't she? The corner and the side. Yeah, it looks like she's going to put some draw on it and try to come back out. I don't... Could she miss that 10 ball? It's like a... She is cutting it pretty thin. She's standing back and looking at this. Now, are you a pool player yourself? I am a pool player, in, in, uh, if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yes, I love the game. I play a lot of one pocket. I play, like uh, yeah, I play all games. I play all games. One pocket is a game that I'd, I'd, I've always wanted to learn and mm. play a little bit. And every now and then I would have Dan show me a few things. But yes, yes. It's hard when that's not any of the competition that I do. Yeah. And so I don't ever have a lot of time to focus on it. Okay, it looks like she's going in the corner here. So that goes past the 10. Yeah, she she's played. She's going to look good on the 6. And that's just, that's what a true champion can do is uh, recover position so well to select the right shot to play. Yeah. Uh, you know, initially she was queuing for the side pocket and as you can see, she has... Okay, it looks like she has more than half position. a pocket the, from this angle. That looks a lot better. I think she has a whole pocket, okay. uh, uh, Cassie. Yeah, from where I'm sitting, looking at the table, it didn't look like that. Yeah. So this shot can be awkward. A couple inches off the rail. This particular shot, because the eight ball is so close to the corner up the table... Really just kind of focus on making the ball. Don't worry too much about position here. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah, because no matter how she hits this, she's going to be able to make that eight. And I'm sure she's, she's going to have an angle to get on that nine pretty easily. She's going to get back up. Yep. very well disciplined if she's second guessing something or not confident to, to just take a quick step back reevaluate nice job yes excellent job then I think she from here she can just put follow come off the short rail you like the follow shot? I do. I don't know if she's gonna is she gonna do that or is she gonna put draw on it. That looks like she's aiming down. Yeah, I like kind of cinching this ball a little bit of draw. Yeah, it looks like that's what she's doing. Maybe a little bit of left. For me, it's just easier to control with follow to get the kind of angle that I want on the nine. I'd mm. be scared of mm -hmm. getting straight in on the nine. I guess it's uh, what you're comfortable with, yeah? Well, she's one of the best bridge players, so. I've seen some very good bridge players to uh, this event. <laughs> Especially the European players who are used to snooker. <laughs> Most of you guys can spot me the uh, five ball <laughs> with the bridge. <laughs> I get used to using it a lot just because I'm so short. But I could definitely use some practice with it. It's not my favorite. Do you use an extension as well on your, on your queue? Or? I don't, no. no. I just use a bridge. I know I should. 
I've just gotten so used to him. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Without it. And just like that, it's going to be three to three. We have a match. Nip and tuck, alternate break. This this is how two evenly matched players should be should be in a in a alternate break format like this. So Cassie, tell me a little bit about yourself. Like, when did you start playing pool competitively? I started playing about 10, 11 years ago. Okay. When I was just old enough to be in a bar. Okay. Um, started out by just playing some bar pool, got into leagues, and the first year I started playing, I qualified for a national event and went to my league operator and said, I need to take my game to another level. Where do I go? And mm -hmm. he basically introduced me to Dan Louie. And oh, that first that's how year it I played with Dan, I, we probably practiced three, four times a week, five, six hours a night. Yep. Um, and I've just been really into it since. So I joined the NAPT last year. And this is actually, well, we only had three events this year. So this is the second event. I couldn't make it out to Philadelphia. Uh huh. Unfortunately, um, it, it was hard to get out of work. Um, it's the end of my quarter, and I'm in sales, so oh, okay. I have, end of September is not a good time for a tournament for me. Mm, mm, mm. So I was glad to make it out here. Chicago yeah. was a lot of fun. And you came, you 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 played Line, and then you won you won a match, and then uh, you know you got to win a match. Uh, for and, this event, oh. yes, yeah. I actually I won. I actually got to watch the you. First first two i think oh the first two okay yes and then i played lena and then i won my next two and then lost last night uh gosh i'm drawing a blank on her well, name you, get, you got a few matches i then. got a few matches in just enough to cash uh taruko yes, yes and she's still in it yeah. looks like she's she she's currently playing lena Oh, yes, that's right. Uh, and I really wanted that rematch. And the score <laughs> from the one loss side looks like, is it 3-1 to one to Ruko? And I'm not sure. Uh, it it, it looks like it might be. Wow. That would be a really good game for yeah. her. It's still 3-2, to two, Eleanor against Vivian. Yeah, I think just for those curious. having some uh, safety battles over there. Well, that's great, uh, and we did not get to uh, stream you in a competition, but uh, not this we, time. We did get a chance to. S there were some people watching you warm up on this table on the first day of the event uh, when we had our cameras set up, and uh, there were people asking who you were in the chat room, like, "Who is this girl? She plays very well." Well, that's nice. So. Well, thanks. That's nice. I to guess hear. that's a testament to your talent <laughs> and to and to the uh, and to the coaching skills of Dan Louie. And yeah, um, he try to put in a lot of work. It's a tough game. Wow, that was beautiful. Beautiful cut down the rail by Karen Core. Do you play with the Cyclops balls? Do you have the six and seven down pretty well? <laughs> <laughs> I make the mistake often, actually, and I still do. Yeah. Uh, so I do not traditionally play with Cyclop balls. I play in Southern California where uh, we don't see a lot of those balls yep. being used. Wow. Reverse follow to get position on the seven into the side rail there. So, uh, I'm going to predict here that uh, Karen's going to play this two rails back and forth uh, for shape yeah, on the it's, eight. it's a sharp angle. Now, what do you want on the eight here to get on the nine? I want a little bit of angle, so I don't, I don't want like to go... like to drop back? Maybe? I don't want to go back and forth too much. I want to just play this natural like that. She, she likes to play a little, a little pacier. To get almost straight on the eight. Yeah, she's almost. Which is also straight. okay. It's also okay, because she can she can draw back. Have enough to draw it back. Yeah, but she's she's gonna need to draw back a little further than she's the cue ball take is out now. The stroke. Yeah. She's got the stroke. Yep, she's aiming really low on that. 
she spun she it really away well. and you know what yeah she she uh played that way better better than i would have just drawn she spun away she'll be able to hold the key ball here just for the 10 and the other. oh no she she spun, spun away around. again she's good control there So she got wow. the lead there. Yes, and Karen oh Kaur again oh. takes the lead. Has it? It's just been a one-game difference this whole match, right? Yes, so far. So there hasn't yeah. been a two-point lead yet. No, no. It, well, no. In the beginning, it was two-zero. Oh, uh, when Allison. Allison. Karen Core caught up to two-two. It was three-two, three-three. Now it's four-three. So Allison Fisher racking now. Streaming live from Griff's in Las Vegas. Come on down. Happy hours on most days. Uh, Are and, you here uh, pretty regularly? Great food in the uh, kitchen. No, this is my first time here. Oh. And um, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying the food. I'm enjoying the very friendly staff here. And, uh, and all our great service. And I don't know. What do you think? How do you like this place? Oh, I love it. It's great. I was in nice Vegas. Um, I'm extremely comfortable here. Not too cold, not too warm. Yeah. Um, it, I'm, I'm very comfortable. I just had a really good uh, lunch. The chicken wrap was really good. The service has been great. My husband was here earlier this week and definitely got his round of drinks every time the waitress came around. Great. Oh, uh, by the way, I uh, wanted to... I want to congratulate you publicly. I guess. Yeah. I, I'm just meeting you for the first time, but you're telling me that you are with child now. You're, yes. You're going to have a baby. I am. Yeah. How many months I'm or weeks are three you? Three and a half months along. Wow. Uh, so I am due in April. Not sure if we're going to have another NAPT event before then. I'm hoping so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this, would this be your first? Yes. Oh, congratulations! Yes. Well, I hope. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you have a very. Uh, uh, successful thank you few yeah, months ahead and my you're gonna have sleepless guess, nights ahead as well yeah <laughs> this is my third tournament playing while pregnant and it's been uh quite an interesting ride every day it's like i hope i feel okay i hope mm, i mm. don't have a headache today and um and i've been very tired so So it's, what does Allison have here? Allison she played. Uh, she played a, a difficult shot on the one ball, came across like back and forth, and she's left herself tough on this too. Do you and think she's going to go for it in the corner, or is she going to well, play I, a safety? Here? I don't see a lot of. I don't see a lot of potential to get shape on the three here, either. And if 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 I if I know Allison's games, you know I. I used to watch Allison too, you know. Is she more of a safety player in these kind of situations? When I was when I was going to WPBA events in like 2011, 12, she she will not take this on if she doesn't see it's you know like mm -hmm. very possible to run out. But looks like she's, she's putting draw, so I looks think like she's, she's going to shooting stroke it. it. Oh my goodness. Now does that she three just, go? And I guess it goes in the corner up on the left. Well, she just that that was a great shot. On yeah, the she ball. just rewrote whatever I just said. I <laughs> <laughs> right, think she's going to be going in for the corner there. She's I mean, putting at, some draw on it, so she's going to hit the long rail and come back down. At this point, I'm going to uh, I'm going to assume she's going for it because she played a marvelous shot on the two. So all that effort to get shape on the three, she might as well take it. It seems like uh, with some a little bit of outside draw, she'll get natural. Uh, it's not natural position for the four, but a little outside draw will give her position on the four. So this is a key shot. Oh, hit a little too thin. But she she got on the four. Left Karen pretty tough on the three. 
She might, uh, she might, can she see enough of that to maybe play a safe and get behind the nine? I saw Allison play a similar safety earlier. Hit that perfect speed. Yes, in the first game. Yeah. 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 Where then Allison got the one nine combo. Mm, mm. This looks a little tougher. Karen is going to have to dig deep here. She's I think she might. On this rail. You know, she could come around one, two, three rails, try to get underneath the seven, but the eight ball is is there to make it hard. I don't, I don't know what she's doing here, but she is playing a safety, that's for sure. Getting behind the seven there? The eight? Well, the three I thought might get behind the seven, too. Oh, yeah. I think she had yeah. two chances there. Actually, for what she had, I think it was a great shot. Yeah. It's it's a uh, this is a tester for Allison. I don't care who you are, this is not an easy shot. But uh, she's executing. She's executing. She missed the three ball t uh, last inning. Will she make the three ball this inning? I'm going with yes. Pretty smooth. You called it, Cassie. The Pretty magic smooth. eight ball. Cassie, all signs point to yes. All signs point to yes. <laughs> I have confidence. Well, I think she'll be out from here. I like the layout. I bet Allison does too. She really does use the bridge better than anyone here I've seen here. So what angle are you giving yourself on the seven here? She can do anything, right? Um with where it is. You know, I want to I want to kind of draw back for for a straight shot on the seven. Straight because, shot. Yeah, because uh, I want to get my cue ball a little closer to the seven because if I if I get nice and close to the seven, then I can control the cue ball a little more. You know, gives me like more options. There so, it is. Yeah, and she's drawing back for the side now, but uh, that's something that uh, when you're close to your work. Uh, as long as it's a nice straight shot, yeah, that actually gives you opportunity to cheat the pocket a little more, and uh, and and do something, you know, give you more freedom to work with the cue ball. She does have to use. Is she using the bridge for this? She she is using the bridge, and I'm surprised. You know, I she's, thought she would be able to reach that. She's one. pretty tall. But she's got. I mean, she shoots so well I with mean, this bridge. Yeah. I can stroke anything with this. Yeah. It's just perfect position. These tables also draw pretty nicely, too. Uh, they do. Well, it's, you know, uh, Simona's cloth, and uh, it's not too humid in here. It's, it's not humid at all. It's nice and dry in here. So the playing conditions are So I think her angle here, top -notch. She, she might be able to, is she going to come around the nine? Because I think she has a little more angle. Looks like that's yeah. what she's doing, yeah. So do you stream all of, this is your first time here, so you don't stream all of the Griffs tournaments? No, I don't. No. What's your affiliation with either this tournament or with Mark? I came a little am, short on that. Uh, I'm an independent contractor. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just a, I'm just a, a hired hand. <laughs> What's that Steven Seagal movie? I'm just the cook. I'm the wrong person to ask. Oh, yeah, I don't watch a lot right. of movies. Yeah. Okay. Not a Steven Seagal fan, okay. She left herself I'm a just little the bit chef. tougher on this nine or on this ten ball. Uh, Ooh, she's Cassie. Not really happy about that. Maybe jinxed it. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, but well, she got Karen a tough, tougher shot. Yeah, so. and this game is definitely going to be a swing game. I missed a similar 10 ball yesterday that Allison just missed, and I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Karen's going to take a good, <clears throat> long look at this because <clears throat> it's a difficult, very difficult shot. Can I, how do I, can I scroll in the chat? Oops. Someone was asking if these, is that a real question? If these guys are pro? Yes, Allison and Karen are definitely pros. <laughs> Yeah. That's our regular <laughs> pool hall banger who uh -oh. always asks, are oh, okay. these guys pros? Okay. It's uh there's a little comic relief going on in the chat room, so don't Okay, I see. I don't see. take it all to heart. Yes, under siege with Steven Seagal. I'm just the chef. All right, Karen's aiming low here, so she's gonna put some draw on this. She's gonna stroke it. Back cutting. Corner pocket. Ooh. That pocket's jinxed right now. <clears throat> well, I oh. mean, jinx or no, uh, you, you may you might, might be able to say a jinx if it was a nice, easy, straight shot that missed, but that was a difficult shot for any player. Allison's going to get this one here, and that'll tie it up. Yeah. So, Allison ties it up. Yep. Race to three from here. Race to three from here, and we got action. So, no second chance tournament for you. No, they um they wouldn't let anyone who cashed in the main event play in it. You cashed. I did cash. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. They I, paid paid through twenty fourth place in this event, right? Seventeen. Oh I guess seventeen, 17. through twenty fourth, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. I don't know that I would have played in it though if I didn't. I think um the last few days have just been pretty exhausting for me and I Really? Yeah. I think I I could have used this break anyway. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of good matches going on today anyway. Will there be more time in Las Vegas after this event? Or are you going straight home? I am. You guys going to no, do a day I'm, on the strip? or? No, this is my last night. Okay. Yeah. But I go to Vegas enough that I don't, I don't need to go out on the strip and <laughs> gamble and obviously drink. <laughs> <laughs> not, not drinking right now. Ooh, seven didn't go on the side. It wanted to. But she, I think, is hooked from the one. I can't tell from this angle if the two goes past the four. It might... Well, Allison's got to play a good shot here. Either a good push, which looks like what she's doing. Yeah. Yeah, I would have pushed there too. <laughs> And 
Uh, you, you can almost guarantee Karen's not going to give this back. She'll take this on because there, there is potential for safety here. She can try to get behind the four and two, or two. That looks like uh, the plan, but there might be a little bit of a, you know, it's like a little tricky. She gives it back. I'm she very did. surprised. How Allison might make her pay for this. Yes, I'm 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 very surprised. Very surprised. Let's say hello to Geraldine. Geraldine, I hope you can hear me. I know that you're streaming from Hard Times Billiards right now. Oh, what's going on there right but, now? Uh, but, uh, so you may not have audio on, but I love you and I miss you, and I'll talk to you soon. Um, Geraldine, she's my better half, and she's streaming POV Pool from Hard Times right now. Oh, okay. Uh, we're doing the monthly tournament there. Um, is that the one in Bellflower or Sacramento? Bellflower. Okay. I've only been to the one in Sacramento. Ah, she did hear me. So, Allison, um, you know, Karen gave that back, and I guess it was a good decision because... Uh, Allison fa uh, failed to sort of cover the one ball with anything. So I guess Karen plays out. a good shot only to wind up in a little bit of yes. trouble, I think. Yeah, look on her face. Once again, happy. yeah, no, not a happy face. wonder how much she can actually see of that. Well... If anything? Can if anything, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's such an easy kick as well to to kick and hit this, but no. Looks like she can see something. Maybe She's she can make... Plan. If she can cut this up the rail. Oh, wow. Wow. See? there's. A, That's a great shot. See, that is a proof positive that you can actually miss from the chair, Lori <sighs> John Hassan. I don't, I don't know that she had a full pocket there. <laughs> she says she never misses from the chair, but you can miss from the chair. <laughs> or at least I can. <laughs> I'm so bad I even miss from the chair. Oh, I just got a response from Dan Louie here. Let me see. Great. Good. Are you home yet and tuning in? He was uh, unfortunately at a funeral this morning. Oh, no. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure. All right, those, smile for those Dan. Those who are grieving are happy that Dan is there. All right, ready? Taking selfies with All right, now she has Cassie. Francois. <laughs> Fortunately, to shoot over the six. Not my favorite shot when you're that stretched out, especially. Uh-huh. And she's right-handed, too. So this does not work to her advantage. This is not ideal for her at all. So she's getting some equipment together here just to just to play this special shot. Oh, not Karen, my favorite. Karen, really, all she needs to do is roll the five in because the six is automatic. That's what she's shooting over right now. So she's getting her bridge head. And then how far that seven together. does go in the side? So then she could just roll that six forward to shoot the seven in the side after that. Trying to get a good camera angle here for you. There you go. 
Yeah. So oh yeah, definitely. I'm rooting for I'm rooting for Karen on this shot. See if I can get a little closer for you guys and see so that you can see how she executes. This is tough. This is tough. Wow. Who said pool was was easy? Nope, and she has this. I think she's fine just to roll that six in. That was just beautiful. Follow. Just it, she made it look easy. She made it look very easy. I I, I gotta tell you, this is a, that's like a any amateur plays that shot is like thirty percent for them, but for her, it's Ex eighty to eighty five that far percent. stretch. Yeah. that's not right in front of you. Something's going on. Uh, yeah, there's some distraction in the background. Yeah. There's a table of three foot, people sitting foot, right on foot the side of the... Foot sharking. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't want to sit where those people are sitting. I know. I, I don't... They're brave to sit there. It's amazing how every little thing can be distracting when you're, when you're down on a shot. And like a true professional, Karen gets up and just lets them know, you know, and doesn't let it get to her head. Yes. That's, just amazing. Yeah. I've seen a handful of players let it get to them and then they blame everyone for missing their shot. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Boy, we are seeing Karen deliver the goods right now. And uh, she needs to because she's playing <laughs> uh, Allison Fisher. And the winner of this plays the winner of Eleanor and Vivian. Um, it looks like I think Eleanor's up 5-4 on that match. Thanks for the update. I'm uh, so engrossed in this match that I forgot about the other ones going on. Yeah, I yeah. imagine the winner of that will play next on the stream uh, because that would be for the hot seat. It would be for the hot seat unless we play a one loss first. We'd have to check with Chris Rogers, mm. our tournament director, on that. This was a really nice rack um, for Karen. Oh, this is, yes, this is great. This uh, just just a reminder to Allison that, uh, you know, you can't make Karen's in, at the top of her game right now. You know? Very nice Excellent run. Excellent shot. Yeah. Excellent run. I think Allison's going to be taking a break here. There is going to be a break. It's now going to be score 5-4. Karen Core leads Allison Fisher. What a good match. What a great match. And, uh, Have and you it's thanks to the uh, NAPT. Check out NAPT on Facebook. Click on the link in the chat room or the description of this video and uh, find out more about uh, future NAPT events, NAPT activity, uh, getting involved with the NAPT, sponsoring, hosting a tour stop. Uh, yeah. Any of uh, any of a number of things, or even if you just want to send them a message and thank them for this uh, this great event that they've put on and the uh, hours of entertainment that uh, you've been provided on uh, this live stream. You you were going to ask me something. Oh, was I? I I don't remember what I was going to ask. It's okay. I was probably going to say something I forgot. Um, we can look at Eleanor's match and. Uh, so Eleanor's up 5-4. Eleanor's on the nine ball, but has a kind of a tough cut or maybe a bank that she'll have to get back on the 10. So let's see if she gets out here. This, I think, would put her... Oh, she missed. I think that this game might be the difference of it tying or putting Eleanor on the hill. Yeah, Eleanor missed the nine and then sent her cue ball all the way up table. Against the rail, <laughs> sort of like in the corner pocket, and the nine ball. So basically, Vivian is looking at a long, straight nine ball, which is uh, the nine ball sitting just above the side pocket along the side rail. And so she's looking at a long, straight nine. With the cue, with ball, the cue sitting ball sitting in the pocket, in the corner pocket. <laughs> yeah. 
Long straight nine down the rail. Cue ball sitting in the pocket. In an intense moment when your opponent misses and that's your leave. <laughs> yeah. You have to and overcome it's the last two a balls. lot of mental. Yeah. She's so she's looking at this. Vivian's, uh, she's yeah. And the, te the ten ball is like directly in the middle of the table. So all she needs to do is make the nine ball roll forward enough to uh, play the ten in the opposite corner. But when I say all... All she has to do is that. Right. I, I, I mean those. I mean it very lightly. I use the term very loosely. You need to get um, like a remote control camera that slightly changes its angle during breaks. Shh, don't give anybody any ideas. <laughs> and she almost made it. Yeah, she almost uh, made it. It's a tough shot. Well, that was a quick break from Allison and Karen. Yeah, it was. It was. So once again, alternate break. Uh, Karen will sit, even though she won the last game. Allison will break. What's your game of choice? My game of choice? Yep. Hmm. Uh, probably one pocket. Is it? One pocket. So you have a lot of patience. That's great. Who said, who said I had patience? Uh, playing one pocket <laughs> says you have patience. <laughs> I mean, I, I have a lot of patience in the game when it comes to strategy. Yeah. Um, but that's why I want to learn. I want to learn one pocket. Yeah, I really like nine and ten ball rotation because it uh, it's what I grew up playing, mm -hmm. you know, and I just like it because it 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 just helps me refine my shot making, you know, like just yeah, you know, and 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 cue ball position. Sure. You know. It, I I do like ten ball slightly more than nine ball. Yeah. Although when I play nine ball tournaments and it, so many in a row, and then I finally get back to ten ball, I'm like, man, the table's so crowded all of a sudden. That one extra ball is uh -huh. makes a really big difference. Uh, but I do like ten ball. I like that you can't win on the break. I like the less slop part of it. Mm -hmm. This is not an easy opening shot. Especially when you're down a game. There's a lot of pressure here. Race to seven, and seven's not very far away for either of them. Yeah. But uh, it's like I was talking with Lori John Hassan. She, she says that this is that shot, uh, that particular type of shot for Allison Fisher is, uh, it, it is pretty routine believe it or not but and she's uh, probably shot that a hundred million times in yeah. big tournaments and in finals yeah yeah so the rest looks pretty easy from here oh <sighs> goodness gracious she has rattled the two that might cost oh no Karen was quick to get to the table. She's determined to get this rack and be up two games to get on the hill. She's got the five ball in the middle of the table there above the eight. Oh, that's the next ball. I didn't realize. If, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Karen. She Karen made the four on the break. so, And she's dead straight on the five, which is fine. Six ball, the green six up there. Top right corner pocket. Is she, is she straight or does she have a slight angle to might bump the eight? I can't tell. No, maybe she maybe she's straight enough. Uh, I think uh, you know. Regardless, bumping the eight wouldn't hurt. If she's putting draw on it. <clears throat> yeah, she had slight angle. This was this is Allison's break, right? So Karen breaks next. Was that okay? Yes, and that's another, <laughs> that's another Gosh. 
Another thing, too. And Allison's probably in her chair thinking about all these things, too, right now, uh, Cassie. Although what I like, even though, you know, I'm sure Allison's upset with herself, she looks very calm in her seat. You have some players that miss a shot like that, and they're mumbling to themselves, and they look irritated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like... Um, I like how Allison's just sitting there, just waiting for her turn, just studying the table. <laughs> Karen stood up as soon as that Again, back door opened. Yeah, I think that yeah. might have been distracting. She is just, you know... For all yeah. you folks listening in, there's a pretty big crowd here. Yeah. So there's a lot the, of the, distraction the, in the background, people coming in and out of the bar. The room's beginning to swell it a little is. bit. Definitely. Um, some people in the background are constantly moving, checking their phones, and it takes a lot of concentration to be able to perform well in this environment. Even Lena. Lena just walked in front of uh, yeah. in front of uh, the, the, the table that yeah. she was playing on and coming back from a break. And uh, Karen now has gotten up. She's now look, looking in her bag. Is she getting an extent, extender? Yep, she is. Yeah, she's not feel, feeling comfortable with it, without it right now. So, And she has a beautiful, cute, actually looks to me like it's... Well, it has a metal joint. I was thinking it looks like a Gina Q, but it's it's not. It's it's something else. There might be somebody in the chat room that knows what she's using. I saw Karen and Allison talking about her Q earlier this week. Um, I don't know. I didn't quite catch what it, what it was, but they were studying it. It's a beautiful Q. I, I think Allison was actually playing with it a little bit, mm. or maybe it was, or maybe Karen was trying Allison's Q. Now I don't remember. All right, that was That's a big game. Excellent. And that was a big game. Karen's break. She's on the hill. Allison needs three more. And Vivian and Eleanor, who the winner of this match will play next, is tied five to five. So that's a really good match, too. Yes. Uh, you know, we, we do want to remind you folks, too, that uh, there are more matches where this came from today. This is the final day of a three-day event, and uh, we're in the final 12. We've lost two players already today. We lost Eleanor. I mean, I'm sorry, Emmeline. Emmeline. Collado. And uh, Mary Kaufman was beat by Brittany Bryant on the live stream table here earlier today. And who's Brittany? Brittany's playing Monica Webb right now. It looks like the score is four to five. I think Monica is at five. Karen's thinking, okay, I want to break and run this. I want this. I'm going to finish it. Oh, you can believe that's what she's thinking. She's she's probably more thinking, please let me get a ball on the break. And let Good me see break. the one. <laughs> or she's thinking, okay, how am I going to get the best break here? I just want to. I just need to get the good, the best possible break. Let's see if she continues to get a ball in this side pocket here. Five ball. Four ball. Oh, four ball. Five ball just missed the other side. And a shot on the one. The two ball pulls off the rail slightly, and I don't know if it goes to the side, though. Yeah, I can't tell from here. She's going to take a she's going to take a look at this this layout before she makes a, a decision. Oh, look, you can zoom in. But uh, I think it's good news for her I, on that two ball. Yeah, I think Cassie. It just, yeah, it looks like it. If you take a look here, folks, it does look like it's makeable. So she's going to play this uh, one ball in the corner, play for the two in the side. Speed's perfect, I think. Um, yes, I just stopped just in time. 
Well, she she's flirting with a little bit of danger now. I I don't know if she can hit this thin enough to to uh, you know come off the rail uh, flat, you know, or if she's going to have to kind of play this two or three rails around table. I guess we'll find out. She might be able to just play one rail for the three. I can't. It's, it's hard to tell unless you're standing right there behind the table. Unless you're the one shooting. Yeah, she was able to hold yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she cinched it too, you know, kind of babied it. Five ball. Now that's the key. I think she might just roll this natural. Not uh, not put anything on the ball. She wants as little as little angle she can. Uh, well, that's the, the thing too. The six the, is yeah. A, so she's so good. I mean, this key. This is a. This is. How far is that five from the side pocket? Does she have well, room? Well, did you see what she was doing? She she taking her thumbnail, kind of seeing how much of a thumbnail <laughs> thumbnail's distance from the pocket that the five is. I think it's far enough down, but but, she, if she but has the cue ball may she, react oddly if it hits that when it corner. hits the horn. Yeah. yeah. So let's see She's how. Putting a little bit of draw, I think. Um. So she did. She held so the ball. She, so a she's able to to avoid that side. Hopefully, doesn't run into that problem with a point. But yeah, she definitely needed that angle because of where the six ball is. I think I think the angle helps her more because whether or not she if she hits just the rail and or hits the point, she's still going to come Hopefully, off the rail. Yeah. So that's what she want wanted most. So this angle is exactly what she needed. Karen Kaur is putting the clinic on today. And not to distract from this match, but Vivian is on the ten ball. This is to get on the hill. And she's on the hill. She gets on the hill, but uh, Eleanor trails now by one game. It's six to five. And I think Vivian has taken the lead for the first time in this match. Well, well, well. Wasn't that a beautiful shot? It was a great shot. Just nudge the eight perfectly. I think the loser of this match probably has a little bit of a weight. Because I think there may be maybe two, possibly three more matches. Maybe just two matches. Uh, before you mean... the loser of this match gets an opponent. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. But... I guess it's only, it's only probably two. Eleanor Collado is breaking now against Vivian Villarreal. And I'd like to remind you that that's a winner's side match. So the loser of that match will go on to play on the B side. This might be, is this Vivian's first NAPT event? Unless she was in Philadelphia when I wasn't there, that, I haven't seen her. That's more of a, uh, yeah, that's like a Sharon O'Hanlon question or a... It might be. A Marion Poole yes, or I think it an Adrian Beach at, question. At the players' meeting, Vivian was also confused about one of the rules that we implement with NAPT. Hmm. And or a I, Terry Williams question, too. Yeah. Or a Chris Rogers, you know, he would know. Any one of those. Our, our wonderful tournament direction by Chris Rogers and and Ford. That's all the information they give me. Just Ford. Ford. Ford knows it all. Just call me Ford, he said. Said Ford. All right. So it looks like she's hitting low on this. Keep going. This would be she this would be the it. second break and run of this rack for her of this match for her. Yep, it would. And, and I don't know that Allison had a break and run this round. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. And 
what a break and run this would be, too. I mean, this was not Especially easy. Especially for the win. Yes. She's going three rails around the table. Oh, she. What's happening? Well, she's fine. She got a little bump there, didn't she? Yeah, I think the nine was a little thinner than she wanted to shoot it. She had to let that cue ball go a little yeah. bit. She ra she kind of went up in arms on that, didn't she? She uh, she, she raised her hand to uh, Allison, no. almost to apologize for the for, sure. for the lucky for the lucky position she got. Yeah. She was, I think she's playing corner pocket, Cassie. What are you comfortable with, with here? Um, unless I'm at the table, it's hard to tell because I think the side was just. Oh. Whoa. I don't know. From where I was sitting. You like the side. I like the side. <laughs> but when you're down, you know, at the table, it's, it's it could look it could be a little different. Oh, my oh God. she's okay. She's. <gasps> oh my God. Oh. Unbelievable. Oh my God. What a crazy ending. That is why you make them shoot it, oh. folks. That is why you make them shoot it. Uh, what an ending. What did we just see, folks? What did we just see? I mean, I thought for sure it was going to miss the miss the hole. It went right in. Yeah, that was that was pretty brutal. Wow. Well, you know, wow. at least she's she she's laughing about it. Oh, yeah, she is. I mean, you don't see you that know. very often. I mean, and I, I can tell you Karen Core uh too. She's probably she's probably like I can't believe that uh that this is happening too. I mean, eh, they probably seen it. As soon it as all she before. missed that 10, she was, she was getting ready to play that nest. Yeah. Track. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go, folks. The match of the day. Match of the day. <laughs> Until and, the and finals. What a match that was. I mean, yeah, they're they're discussing. I think they're discussing the pocket itself. These balls get very deep into the pockets. Yes, yes. I think they're actually discussing how you want to how you want to hit that that to you know, not get close to that. Scratch. Well, you, yeah, yeah. It may, it may be nice to have a moment to uh, to ask her. So maybe that's what I'll do. I'll I'll, I'll fight anyway. Wow. Cassie, well, cool thanks match. Thanks for having me. <laughs> what a that great was, match. That was fun to watch. Yeah, it's great to get to know you a little it, bit, and I, yeah. you know, and uh, and we have some mutual friends, and that's great. And it was, uh, it was fun. Thank and, you so uh, much for having yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, and wish you the very best of health with you Thank and your you. your new baby, Thank you. and I uh, hope to see you at uh, events in the future, yeah, or I hope well, to be I'll, at events in the future. I'll be around today, so good. I'll maybe, catch you later. Maybe and we'll have you back. Thanks to all the listeners for tuning in. Thank you. Cassie von Francois and Daniel Bush signing off for a minute here. Uh, it's still, um, let's see, it's still 6-5 Vivian Villarreal against uh, Eleanor Collado. I mean, you don't, you don't even have to leave if you don't want to. You can stay as long as you want. Uh, so we'll be back with another uh, live match coming shortly. I'm actually going to find out from Chris Rogers who we're going to be featuring next. So stand by, guys. Congratulations. Karen Kaur will earn a spot to play the hot seat. That'll be between the winner of Vivian and Eleanor. So stick around so that you can find out when it happens, who wins, and who plays.